Today I'll show you the easiest free way to create a product filter like this which has all the important features like a search bar, price meter, ratings, categories and more. Don't worry, this is really simple and we can create these filters in just 5 minutes. Now let's see how we can add a simple product filter in Elementor. To do that, go to Google and search for product filter widget for Elementor. Click the first link and this is the plugin that we are going to use. So let's quickly download it by clicking here. I'll go back to my dashboard, add new plugin. Now just upload the plugin like this and then click install and activate it. First, some disclaimers. Whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my side speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. All right. Let's go to pages, click on add a new page and on the top click edit with Elementor. Next, I'll add a container by clicking here and on the left, I'll search for product filter. Let's drag it here. This should give you a pre-built product page with all the filters like this. To customize these filters, I'll go to the left sidebar and change these settings. I can customize the product list and change the quality of the images, change their title sizes and more. I'll enable this feature called open in new window so that if someone clicks on the product, it will lead them to the product page in a new tab. The query tab allows you to choose the number of products shown per page. And then I'll click on filter general. This option lets me play around with the width, meta tag and other things like this. Then we have filters where I can customize all the filters like name, type and position. In the quick view model, I can change the size of the product image and its name. Lastly, in not found product, I can customize the message that appears when there's no product to show after the filters are applied. When you're done changing these settings, I'll click on preview here and take a quick look at the page and filters. This looks good and the filter works without any issues. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.